Monday morning, we're on the roof, we're in uh, sunny Stafford. And that, that's a face there that you might recognise. Hey. <laughs> that's your friend and mine, Mr. Nick Bundy. And he is also recording. Um, and we've jumped on this job together. Um, Nick wanted just to just to give us a hand, really, and, and see how it's done. So yeah. we've uh, we've invited we've invited you to a couple, but logistically between the two of us, it's been it, so. This is the one we've landed on, which is quite cool because it's actually a previous customer of yours. <laughs> yeah, four years ago. <laughs> so we'll be filming a bit more later, landing onto a fuse board that Nick put in four years ago. Uh, but we're just at the stage now where we've uh, we've skipped a little bit, to be honest this morning but we've marked the rafters on the roof we're getting the roof hooks the first row of roof hooks into place now nick's just going to whip a tile out there and we'll screw that next roof hook in where he's going to take it out and then we'll get this first row of rail on here and then the second row will go towards the top and on this one we're putting six uh, i think i think they're 540 watt panels so this is the biggest panel we've ever fit we uh, we we biggest panel i've ever fit. yeah <laughs> As, First one. A, as a company, us, <laughs> it's the it's largest in terms of the size of the actual physical panel itself. It's the biggest one we've ever fit. So, uh, thanks. I washed the van last night. I can tell. Gotta wash it. Gotta wash it. Right then, we'll see Thank you God. shortly. We'll see you shortly. First row of roof hooks are in. Seven across there. Da da da. Seven across there. And that now we'll get the the two lengths of rail on there and then we can walk up the roof and get, we're gonna come third tile down and get the next row in. And then it's a case then of just getting the solar cables, the DC cable off the roof, through the loft to where we want them and uh, carry on with the rest of it. Harvester, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the roof railed on the outside and we've brought the cables through the loft um, and we've used the Milwaukee Cable stapler, cable stapler, electrician's sta cable stapler, electrician's cable stapler. Yeah. That that bad boy there that Nick has kindly uh, used on this job for us, and they look fantastic. And a, it was quick and easy, and b, they're fire rated because they're metal clips. Yeah. Um, Have you seen how long they actually are? Look. And see, it was just it was just a doddle to do, wasn't it? Yeah. Quick and easy. How long are they firing? Oh yeah. So they're yeah. getting considerable amount. Yeah. So we're got our model here. Yeah, Nick in the loft, everyone. I know, right. <laughs> rare, rare find. Right, we're going to go and shoot outside now then and, and get the cables going across the, the rails. Battery base in place. Six kilowatt inverter. Five kilowatt battery. Ten kilowatts of battery. Fifteen kilowatts of battery and a Bundy. Hi. Here we go then, so the, the, the EcoFlow Power Ocean, great big Colgate smile there from Nick. <laughs> Cheers for that, mate. No worries. Cheers for that. Right, we've got the base on the floor. It's level, it's absolutely smack bang level. And we've marked the six holes that we need to drill now. I think we started this at 20 past four. It's now yep. 25 to five. And we're going to pop the holes in and, and put the kits on. Look at that, Matt. Look at that. Is, it, is, it, is, it, is it beautiful? Oh, in the middle of the road. That's brilliant. Brilliant. So, Nick's got a big smiley face again. We've got two batteries on already, you can see there. That took us just under 20 minutes. Uh, Nick's gonna show us how we open this one now. Ugh, side cutters. <laughs> he loves a good side cutter. I do not. Right, in the, oh, go on Matthew, you've got the microphone. Yeah, so basically, to get the brackets out to put onto the batteries, you first open the top like so, and then there are your, there's your eight screws and there's the brackets that go on the top of the battery just like that and then again we'll just pinch those connectors connectors what are they called clips yeah we'll pinch those clips in on the side and just lift the bad boy off and that's battery number three and just lift it off <laughs> ready say it again and we'll just lift it off. Like <laughs> the other ones are easier. This guy is a YouTube sensation, by the way. Thanks, mate. <laughs> we'll edit it. We'll, <laughs> we'll edit it. <laughs> and that's it. The battery is there now. We're just going to quickly put these brackets on, 
and we're going to get it on the wall. And then the inverter. And then the inverter, yeah. That's it. And then within an hour, we'll have put 15 kilowatts of battery storage on and a six kilowatt inverter. Oh, sorry, man. I didn't realise you were recording. <laughs> now, I just wondered if you'd realise that I've chopped your head off in some of the other videos, so you were trying to get down. Uh, sorry, mate. <laughs> there we go. So look at that. 15 kilowatts of storage, nice. 6 kilowatt inverter. We started at 20 past 4. It's now 10 past 5. It is. Nine, nine minutes past 5. Nine minutes past 5, as Nick says. Um, but we've stopped to set cameras up and all the things, youtube -y things that happen. The youtube youtube -y things. Um, but that is gorgeous. And we'll finish off tomorrow. Yep. Brilliant. Good actual morning. Morning. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> How are you? Um, here early, unlike someone else. <laughs> there's, there's no need. Nick was here about five minutes before me this morning. Six. Six minutes. Yeah. Okay, six. And he will not let it go. He <laughs> won't let it go. But that's bants. That's bants. Eight twenty-five. We've been here. Some of us just over an hour. Some of us just under an hour. We don't talk about that. Day two. We're just getting set up. Uh, Nick is going to do the fuse board in there in a second. You can't really see much. I'm going to put the isolators on the wall, get the cables into the inverter, etc. etc. And then once we've done that, it's back up on the roof oh. and we'll get the panels on. Beautiful. <laughs> so still on day two, it is 25 past 10. Yes. Um, so, as Nick said in his video, we have been taking our time this morning, etc. etc. But Nick is working on his masterpiece here. So, on the left, that's the fuse board that he put in four years ago. Yeah. He's very proud of that. Up there is where the old fuse board lived four yeah. years ago. Here you go. I'll give someone a little bit more height. <laughs> Wonderful. There you go, mate. Hey, hey. look, this, this is Matt, everybody. In his own video, <laughs> which when I was watching back last night, I'm not in him, it's Ace. It's, I it's all you. It's all you. So Nick's working on his masterpiece there, and he's come off his original board. And he's put another little board on there, which he's dropped his cable through. Yeah. He's got it all absolutely beautifully nice and level. Conduit going up into the ceiling. And then we're literally going to go. There's that word literally again. We're going to go up through. We've got a loft hatch that the customer put into on some data cable a while ago. So we're going to staple our cables up there nicely. And we're going to end up coming down this wall as we're putting the isolators on and cabling in to this this masterpiece that matt has been spending and taking his time we're getting it beautiful because realistically there's not a lot we can do right now because if you look outside no, yeah, it's it, hammering it down yeah if you look at that we, we need to be later on we will be on the roof putting the panels on but yeah as nick quite rightly says there yeah, that tour's out there, out there's the not a great deal no no and i'm up i'm up for getting wet i've got a raincoat it is that it's just uh safety wise if i do fall if this is the last video you guys ever see <laughs> Matthew Williams, it's his fault. So my family, if you watch this, this is the man you need to go after, okay? All right. We're all happy now. Okay, well, I'm that bombshell. <laughs> Bit further along with this one now, Nick's got his board on, he's got all his cables in. We're just gonna pull the six mil and the, um, and the data cable through from there over to there and Nick's up there now. So I'm gonna have a conversation with Nick's feet. How are you finding it today, Nick? I genuinely thought you were just going to answer normally. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah, absolutely fine, mate. Yeah, yeah. Ah, lovely. It's been, yeah, it's been a cool um, day and a half nearly, yeah. Splendid. Do you think that you'll do more solar? Absolutely. Not yeah. Not for myself, but Sylvie so indefinitely. Yeah. And, and... You could jump on jobs. Yeah. No, so. I'm genuinely really interested. The thing is, what I said about enjoying it is, it's not just a fuse board, it's not just this. It's a variety of different jobs that I like all put down together as one big job. Mm -hmm. So it's different all the time. So yeah, yeah it's yeah. nice. Yeah, good. The brilliant thing is once it's all installed, it's looking back at all your hard work. Yeah. And going, yeah, yeah, we could have thrown it in. Yeah. But we chose not to. And some people got here on time. And some people were here a few minutes before the other one and yeah. they will not, they will not <laughs> let it lie. <laughs> Harvester, yeah? We're in the loft space in the garage, and there's our friend Mr. Bundy. Hello. We're working on his fuse board and everything, and he's conduited, conduited. He's rather conduit up to the ceiling, and there it is the other side. Um, this is all Nick's work. He's ran his cables across, stapled them beautifully, 
and then the DC cables that we dropped into the roof yesterday he's now stapled down and then they go through into our conduits that take us down the other side and as if by magic which brings us down there and we're gonna start terminating them now and we've just quickly put the DC warning labels on the DC cable to say basically it's not a it's not a sky it's not a satellite cable it's not a coax please don't cut it and just quickly in the main loft you can see the other end of the oval conduit just there that we we, we put through the the lip in the felt to get through the tile we took the back of a tile out and poke that through but you can see now we've got our labels on to say dc cables please don't cut me there is one all the way down there it's probably about to look at it from there there you go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is double video. Oh, hey, Matt. <laughs> look, look at Nick looking professional and me <laughs> with a <the> phone. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Nick has just done his first ever MC4 connection. Uh, he did the, the positive. He's now doing the negative. He, he's filming this as well, so it's a, a double whammy type of thing. But he's, Inception. Uh, he, you've enjoyed it. It's been good. So far, so good. Excellent. It's easy this solar stuff, isn't it? Easy. Easy money. Can you pass me the compass, please? I think the other day, I, what was I calling it? Solar? Solar? It took, it took me a few minutes to go solar. Solar. Solar, sol solar panels. That's solar. What That's it. So Nick is doing that now, which means that pretty much everything in here is done. So we're going to have a quick tidy and jump on the roof. So that's six panels on. So for my video, I've skipped a bit because I haven't shown us putting any panels on at all. But we have done, Too a, bit, bright. We have done a bit in Nick's video. Yes. So there will be a bit in there. But six panels are on, so we're going to do the MC4 connections, which I've heard that Nick wants to do. A master now. Yeah, and then we'll get it, uh, we'll get it tested and commissioned. Cool. 13 minutes past five, day two. That is how the inverter is wired there. We're literally just about to start the commissioning process. Nick is examining his screwdriver. No, I, I bent it, so I just put it back. So we've, we've tested all this now. So we've tested from DB1 to DB2. We've done a ZDB there. And then we've done a ZS over at the isolator. Uh, we've tested the solar strings. They're generating what we expect them to be generating. So it is a case now. I'll get those covers back on and we will go through the commissioning process for the EcoFlow. There we go then, system's all up and running. Fabulous. Nick having a great big smile next to it there. It's been good, I've enjoyed it. I yeah, really no, it's been a good good couple of days. Yeah. We, had a, we had a tiny hiccup with the commissioning because of the, um, the blank that we should have put in for the uh, emergency stop. And who figured that out? Um, a young... So all that was like early? For work? A, a, a young charismatic. A young charismatic. Anyway, so there we go. That's all wired in nicely. That's all done. The system's all commissioned. It's all doing what it should be doing. The batteries are charging. The sun is shining. Thanks, Nick, for the last two days. Thank you very much. We will have you back. No bother. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Love you, bye. Bye, 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 mate. Last finishing touches. Little schematic drawing on the wall there few labels on there we've decided that because this system is so gorgeous i'm not going to ruin it by putting labels on it so i've put the relevant labels there there and there uh, inverter label etc etc um which i'm happy with customers happy with it's a uh, it's been a good two days two, i've popped back this morning just to label things up and just to have a tidy up etc and put the bird proofing on the roof um thoroughly enjoyed that Thoroughly enjoyed it. Really nice bit of kit.